we look at the NFC East standings, and there are your Philadelphia Eagles undefeated at 5-0, and followed by the Cowboys and the Giants both winning today. In fact, the Cowboys are 4-0 and with reserve quarterback Cooper Rush in for Dak Prescott. There was some thought that Prescott would come in next week. That's being tamped down a little bit. Uh, and then the Commanders. Just let's flip 4-1. What do you get? 1-4. <laughs> because it's Wednesday. All right, as we welcome you back to Eagles Post Game Live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance, here's the pick and click question presented by our friends at Turnersville Auto Mall. Are you worried about the rest of this division? Are you worried about the rest of the NFC East? NBCSportsPhiladelphia.com slash pick and click. Barrett Brooks, are you? I mean, it's not necessarily worry, but you have to respect the people that are in your division. You know, you could have, you could be 5-0, and 6-0, and 7-0, and but when you go against Division 4, you just have to go out there ready to play because I was on a worst team ever, played against Division 4, and beat the, the better of the team. So it really just depends on how you approach it. Now, looking at this division, I mean, Five and zero. That's unbelievable. And when I was looking, I said I would be happy to be three and two, four and one at this point. When I looked at the record, but this, you know, five and zero is is is, is definitely great for this team to be. Ruben, what do you think? Yeah, I, I I think you certainly kind of take them seriously uh, until you beat them each a couple times. Uh, we'll know a lot more Sunday night. But the Giants are the one that really. I mean, I knew Dallas was was really good. Didn't know Cooper Rush was going to play this. Well, hasn't thrown a pick. Okay. Since he came in, um, but the Giants surprised me. I didn't think they'd be on the field with uh, with the Packers. Uh, they they look pretty good yes, defensively. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. very quick. Yeah. They don't have a lot going for them offensively. Kind of just run the ball with Saquon, run the ball with broken plays with the quarterback. But he gets the thing. Been getting the job done. That defense is legit. Yeah, yeah. the defense looks good. Yes. So I, yeah. Are, you, are yeah. you worried about yes, one? Yes, I am worried. Both of them are yeah, one both, more both than both the other. And, and I would probably agree with Rube here. The you know the watching that game this morning. The Giants beating the Green Bay Packers over in London. It was a very impressive win. They, they're behind 10 points. They come back in that game. Hey, they're not pretty. Their defense is much, much improved. Saquon Barkley, you know, is, you know he's Saquon Barkley. He's going to make plays. But they're finding a way to win under Brian Dable. So, you know, they're playing better football. Dallas is a good football team. You know, we can't dismiss Dallas even without Dak Prescott. Cooper Rush has come in. As Rube said, not turn the football over. Yep. They're going to run the football. That's, that's kind of their heartbeat. That's what they want to do. So, you know. It's Dallas week to me, though. I mean, I, I'm, like, focused on the Dallas Cowboys. Ever since I came to this town in 1977, and Dick Vermeil knew that Dallas was a really good team, and if we were going to be a championship team, we had to beat Dallas. It was, a, it was just an – we were just bred kind of like this. we got to hate Dallas, and we got to beat Dallas. And at least in 1981, we won the NFC championship game against the Cowboys. But when it's Dallas week to me, man, my hair starts standing up. I, yeah. get, I get fired up over the Dallas game. It's that time. It's, it's that time. And, and the Eagles have not swept the Cowboys since 2011. They've lost four or five, the last five at home against the Cowboys. So they've, they've got some work to do to, to show that they can beat this team. Also, there's one other thing, a little twist to this, is that the following week is a bye week. So you don't want a loss to sit with until – Pittsburgh comes in the following week after the bye. They just don't want a home division loss, yeah. period. Yeah, but, but uh, you know, if you can go 6-0 and going into the bye and then get, get ready for, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, lost again today, they're Steelers struggling big out. time, got wiped out. Here's Jason Kelsey with the media in the locker room. I rolled my ankle, um, you know, went in to get x-rays to make sure that nothing was broken. Um, and then once we found out that the x-rays are all good, uh, it was kind of, you know, however it feels. And went back out there after halftime, and it felt good enough to give it a try. And once I was out there, I didn't really feel like I noticed it that much. What do you think happened to the offense after the real strong start? Yeah, I will. I don't know. You know, I think we, we stalled out. We didn't really handle. Felt felt like we moved the ball decently in the middle of the field and in our own zone, but it didn't feel like once we got past the 50, we kind of stalled out a few drives, didn't finish in the red zone, which are things that we've done really well all season. So, um, yeah, we got it. You know, that's the way it is. These guys came ready to play today. We knew that the Cardinals are a good team. They have great players over there. So, um, you know, we got a lot of things to fix and correct, but definitely feels good getting it's my first time ever winning in Arizona so I'll take yeah. it looks like you got uh you had your ankle taped up and yeah the medical tent and went back out mm -hmm. did it just kind of give on you or? actually in the medical tent they were evaluating me for a concussion I got up slow on one of the uh quarterback sneaks because there tends to be a pile of human flesh on top of you 
but obviously with the whole Tua thing, they're trying to be extra like cautious now with everybody. So um, they were evaluating me for that. Once I got clear from that, went back out there and uh, just sprained it on that play. Do you feel like you put some pressure on Nick to call so many quarterbacks sneaks by talking about him? Maybe, podcast? maybe. I don't know. I think uh, we're, we've been really good at them. They were credit to them. They were doing a great job of making it very difficult today. Um, we still executed, I think, on most of them. I think one of them was we got stopped for less than a yard, but um, it's still being an efficient play. Um, it's definitely a physical play, to say the least. Yeah. You played through. Drive. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You played through a lot of injuries. Where does this one rank? I I think I I have a tendency to be dramatic sometimes, so maybe it's not that as bad as initially perceived out there. Um, You know, I don't know. It's a a low ankle sprain. Uh, We'll we'll see what grade it is after the MRI and everything tomorrow, probably. Uh, But once I got back out there and taped it up a little bit thicker, it it didn't really feel that bad. Obviously, you can't speak to the. the feeling that that gives the team, but like when Landon goes through something like that, what does it mean to you? Well, whenever somebody's going through pain and injury and they're and they're trying to fight through it, and obviously uh, there's respect there for a lot of guys. I mean, Isaac say Milo's playing a little banged up today, and you got. I mean, this is the way the game is. You know, you don't. You know, <laughs> it's a luxury to play a game without something going on in this league. So, um, especially up front. So. Um, you know, there's certainly a lot of respect for guys that uh, try to get out there and play with their teammates, and, you know, and it, as well as as long as they can do it effectively. You know. Hey, tell me about that drive. That the last the drive. Points. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think I lost count, but at some point it was like 12 runs and 14 plays or something. Yeah, like we, we finally got the run game going. It took us three and a half quarters, but um, you know, I think. Uh, you know, we, we, we got some very conducive looks. We got uh, some really good blocking. The backs run it very, ran it very well. Um, you know, kind of kicking ourselves for not being able to do that all game, honestly. Uh, but, you know, we've we've shown a few weeks, you know, we can run the ball when we need to, and that's a, a good trait. And uh, to take up that much time, which we would have finished it with a touchdown there again, stalled out in the red zone. Um, but, you know, that's the way he goes sometimes. At what point on that drive did you